Welcome back to the Avalon Raceway Show. Hang on tight. More speed car action coming your way. The AGP for 2009. We're underway. 30 laps the distance. Yellow lights on. McAllen was the early race leader. That's a little bit of that time by. They went wheel to wheel as Crabtree's got problems in the 97. Oh, they bunch up deeper in the field. Brown will lead the first of 30 laps for the AGP. McAllen, Smee, Jenkins. Back to Neville Lance in the Victoria 9. That's unusual. The West Aussie runs in fifth. Crabtree's out of this one. G. Brown's eked out a handy advantage. Dean McAllen in second. But he's got maybe 10 or 12 car lengths between he and the race leader. Smee, Jenkins, Lance running nose to tail for third and fourth respectively. Then it's Lance, Mackay, Troy Jordan, Todd Wanless on his inside. They run wheel to wheel. Jason Gates a little further behind. Here's your race leader on the main straight. McAllen was closing. This is where it's at with lap traffic. No lap cars between your race leader and second place. They're in turn number two. Brown and McAllen. They shoot by on Emerson. Trying to go around the outside as Emerson turns right on your leader. We've got a new race leader, Dean McAllen. G. Emerson. Almost made an unravel for Mark Brown. But that's racing. The lap traffic playing a part in this one. We've got a spin in turn number four. And it looks like Nathan Smee. Well, Jenkins. Looks like he's encountered some problems. Under the yellow lights. They shoot by on the outside of Troy Jenkins. Looks like a flat left rear. Is it on Neville Lance? Oh, motor. Smoke billowing from your race leader. 16 to go and Dean McCallan's out of the event. Blown a motor on the 21 car and Dean McCallan limps infield. Todd Wanless finds himself in third. John Mackay. Troy Jordan into fifth. Here's the battle for the lead. Oh, Smee's around again in turn number four. Plume of smoke and dust and all things considered as the yellow lights come on. Well, he was challenging for the lead in turn number four, and he's gone round in the six. Nathan Smee, the New South Wales. Here we go. Mark Brown pulls a handy buffer at the start. Wanless back in second. Mackay right on his tail in third. Jordan Jackson picks up a spot on Dean Cavathis. Peter Gent trying to do likewise. Smee gone round in the six car up in turn number one. Yellow lights will come on. Smee brings on the cautions again up in turn number, turn number one. No doubt about it. He would have been going after them from the rear of the field. Oh, Gates had a big look on the inside of Troy Jordan. Now Jordan finds his feet. Brown, Wanless, Mackay. Oh, it's the best corner to have a flat tyre on that left front. Mackay continues to run third. There's your race leader in turn three and four. Driving the 67 car. It's Mark Brown. Your leader with nine laps to run. Just edging his way clear. Three tenths of a second quicker than his nearest rival. Continues to drive off into the distance. Wanless, Mackay and Jordan now on the inside challenging for the third spot. Jordan with eight laps to run. Oh, Mackay climbs the right rear of Hassan. The slower car will bring on the cautions. 
Approaching five laps to go. Mackay brings on the cautions over in turn number two. Just clipped the right rear of Andy Hassan's 75 car. The slower car they were negotiating over in turn two. This time by, there'll be five to run. Brown with three to run. Todd Wanless would love to finish in the runner-up spot. No shame in finishing second to Mark Brown. Two to go for your Brown Dog, the race leader. Jason Gates applies the pressure and flips violently in turn number one. Comes to a rest up against the concrete, was challenging for third. Brown and Todd Wanless are out of there. Here they come all over Jordan. He pins it on the bottom. He's going to force them to go around the top. Burke trying to dive through on the inside. White flag, one to go. Well, it got a little messy for Jordan. The Brown Dog, Mark Brown, the Sydney Sider, will take the win. The 49th running of the AGP here at Avalon Raceway. Todd Wanless home in second. Well, Peter Burke a familiar in third. Place, standing atop the podium. Well, he's a class act. He was by far the quickest car throughout that 30-lap main event. Did everything right, folks. Let's meet your feature race winner and the 49th winner of the AGP. Give it up for Mark Brown. Well done, mate. Privileged to hand that over. We haven't seen you up here as winner of the AGP since 2004. You've won everything else, though, in between. Yeah, we had a lot of luck here. It's homecoming for me. And, um, you know, Jury always puts on a great venue and a great track. And once again, tonight was a good track. Mate, let's run through that race. Did Dean catch you napping there, that lap car? Just Some nights it'll help you, some nights it'll hurt you. And he just moved up track and left that gate open on the bottom for Dean to shoot through. Yeah, he, um, we had the, I had the same problem that he did. Um, he goes in low and gets a mid-turn push, and I thought I, I forgot about it, and maybe I should have went low. But you know, good luck to Dean. He drove a good race, and I wouldn't have got him. Um, for some reason, we'd been a right front shock hitting somebody um, probably about 10 laps into the race. So I knew, that, I knew our speed was good early, and, um, but I don't think it would have had anything for Dean in the end with the right front shock. So um, bad luck to Dean. But you know, congratulations to these two, two guys, uh, Toddy and Pete. You know, they've been around for a long time, and they're great drivers, and it's good racing with them. Mate, is there any time that you get a chance to relax out there? Because you don't know what's happening behind you, so I take it you're just running like a cut cat. Oh, I'm pretty close to Toddy, and I knew he'd cover for me anyway. So, <laughs> um, You know, I was struggling with the car. You could see that. I mean, I couldn't turn it. I could not turn it at all. Um, I think in the heats, uh, me and Nate early on the night had a blinder of a heat, and I'd like to set the lap times on that because I reckon we'd be around the one lap record there. It was fast, and the track was perfect. And, um, you know, we were, like I said, we are good for five laps, and then something went wrong. So... At the end of the day, I'm happy and um, it's a good win. It's probably the most prestige race you can win in this country. If you've seen the Perpetual Trophy with guys like AJ Foyt on it and people like that, and you know, Troy's on it three times and other people, it's just a great, great trophy to have. And, you know, I've got to thank Jeff for having us all here, you know, having the AGP here. I know he's got the Australian title next year, but it'd still be good to come back and run the AGP because it's, it's really the, the place where it's got to be at. Let's talk about the title next year. This place, you've had so much success over the last maybe four or five years. Could this be the year next year, potentially, that you get that A1? Oh, I'd like to think so. I, I, um, I wouldn't keep on doing it if I couldn't. I'm a bit like Neville Lynch, you know. We just, we've been close a few times and, um, you know, I won't, I won't stop racing until I win one, I guarantee you that, because I promised my mum and dad when I was 16 one. So, you know, um, you never know. Um, I think I can, yeah. If you win it next year, don't retire the year after whatever you do. Oh, I definitely won't. Um, I'll go berserk. I tell you, you won't see, a, see me sober for a month. Um, it's a dream, you know. It'll be a dream, but who knows. Mate, you're welcome back to Avalon Raceway anytime. Folks, give it up for your feature race winner, the Brown Dog, Mark Brown.